If you're a Star Wars fan like I am, it's very likely that you've heard about the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, the brand new hotel that Disney is currently building right outside of Hollywood Studios. But in today's video, we're going over everything we currently know about this brand new resort experience. First and foremost, it is an experience. This is going to be unlike anything we have ever seen before. And I'm not just talking about Disney. I'm talking about any resort experience anywhere. The Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser ship has a name. It's called the Halcyon. It's going to be your home for a two-night, all-immersive adventure unlike any other. The ship's going to be designed in a very unique way. You can see it going through space here. We just have this one image of the outside of it, where it's kind of just flying by us as we're going to be on board. And the idea is we're going to step on board for those two nights, hypothetically three days, and then we're going to have this amazing adventure and not really step off of the Halcyon that much. We'll get back to stepping off of it in a minute. Disney has confirmed that this experience is going to be extremely unique. You're going to go to the resort. You're going to pull up in either your car or maybe a taxi or an Uber, whatever it is. You're going to pull up and very much like a cruise, you're going to kind of step out like a cruise terminal, maybe give someone your luggage. That's my understanding. We don't know that for sure. And then you step in and check in for your amazing stay. After you arrive at the terminal, you have to get to the Halcyon. The story starts right then, right at the terminal. You go in, you say, okay, I'm here. Okay, step on into this pod. The launch pod, as you can see here, looks super unique. You maybe grab onto something as you're making your way through space, going to the Halcyon. To actually board the Halcyon, you have to be in the launching pod and like take off and go into space from the Earth and go into the Halcyon. The story starts as soon as you get there. Now, if you had the opportunity to go to Disney Quest in the past, you may recall this elevator that you would stand in and the genie would kind of blast off for you to get into Disney Quest. Think of it in the same way or a very similar way. Whether it's a vehicle or some other mechanism, we don't exactly know all those details, but you launch from the Earth to the Halcyon and you'll have a full experience of maybe rocking back and forth, holding on to those handrails, whatever it is so that you can launch off into this amazing resort. Once you arrive at the Halcyon, you'll make your way into what's known as the Atrium. The Atrium on the Halcyon is your opportunity to first step on board and look around and see where you've arrived. Now, the understanding from some of the concept art that we can see is that it's going to be a hustle and bustle. A lot of people moving around, maybe stormtroopers in the area checking that luggage. Hey, what are you doing here? They're gonna be already right off the bat, the story starts right there in the Atrium. Of course, Disney hasn't revealed all the small details about what's going Going to happen after you you know go between different locations the launching pod atrium and then what next there's not going to be a moment where you're saying to yourself oh i'm bored i don't know what to do literally every single moment from the time you get there until the time you leave, which no one's gonna wanna leave, you are going to be immersed in Star Wars and a story. We don't know all the details of a story, but there's definitely one here. Now, we don't know what happens between the atrium and your room, probably some parts of the story as they you know, prepare it for you or put your luggage there, we don't know, but eventually you do make it to your room. This image is one of my favorites where you can actually see the doorway. You walk in through this doorway, hypothetically the bathroom is right over there kind of by that passageway. You can see some shelving over there, and then you make your way into the main living area. Now, these rooms are small. There is no question about it two smaller beds, and then one larger adult bed. If you look really carefully at this picture, you can see both of those smaller beds, which look cooler in my opinion, have their own command console in there, kind of back to the right a little bit, uh, they, like the foot area of the, those little bunks. The, that is just so cool to me. I'm so excited to see what is going on in these rooms, but hypothetically, the room can sleep five. One of the big question marks we have about the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, how small are those rooms? Because they look really small. The Answer, they're really small. We don't know exactly how small, but just given the dimensions of the resort itself, they're going to be extremely small. When I say extremely small, I'm thinking value room, like, you know, smaller. You, you know the difference is the value room, the moderate room, and the deluxe room. They kind of vary in square footage. I'm thinking they're gonna be kind of that value room size just because you are there for the experience. Not much for the room, for the experience. Another image I love is this one. Imagine you're kind of a kid inside this bunk bed here. You're looking out into space. I love that. Ah, it's just, that's so, so cool. You got your head up there, you kind of look out the window, seeing the, you know, whatever it is outside, a dogfight, a ship go by. You can rest assured, they're going to have a lot of things to see out of this window. There will be no moment of boredom whatsoever. Now, if you're wondering where the fifth person will sleep inside these rooms, I was wondering the same thing. My guess is it's right down there. See the little, uh, 
I'm guessing it's a fold-out bed. That, that's my guess right there, kind of that white panel up against the side. That's my guess, don't know for sure. Right next to it, you can see kind of like a table for relaxing right by the window. Five, five people can sleep in this room. Very tight quarters, but you're on a ship, so you know, it's supposed to feel that way. Now, throughout your adventure, there are going to be a lot of things to do. Again, no details about what the adventure entails, but there is no doubt that there's going to be some thing to overcome, a ship breakdown, uh, imperial incursion. We have no idea. You can only imagine the excitement that I feel as I think about this, but it's going to be something to overcome. And when you're doing these things, you actually have to go to different locations around the ship, which brings us to the bridge. The bridge is only one spot in the ship. There's more to see, but let's go over the details of the bridge first. If you look at this concept art, there are guests coming in and out and doing something in the bridge. We don't know what they're doing. Clearly, there's something to do. There's some mission to accomplish here. You can see guests at control panels, looking outside of those windows, seeing maybe a dog fight go by. Maybe they have to click a button as a dog, you know, a, um, a TIE fighter goes by and say, okay, fire, fire, you know what I mean? So they have to actually shoot at the different things that they see. It's a guess that is just my hypothesis. I have no idea, but there's definitely something to do here. If you look at the table in the bridge, see right there, they're actually looking down into the table. I don't know if Disney's ready to go for holograms yet. I don't know, you know, there's been a lot of talk about that. I have no idea, but they're looking down into the table. So we can rest assured, this is going to be some new technology. Even if it's just a screen embedded in the table, that we've never seen before. One important note that I do want to mention, notice that there's actually a child in a wheelchair right over there. That is very good to see. So the entire experience will be wheelchair accessible. That's great. I'm so glad to see it. Disney does stuff like that. They're ahead of it. They want to make sure it's accessible for everyone. So those in wheelchairs, not to worry, you'll be able to experience the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. The next area we come to is the lightsaber test. There is going to be something on board of the Galactic Star Cruiser involving lightsabers. Now, I do not know if it means we're going to use our lightsabers or possibly a lightsaber they have. My guess is it's their lightsaber because somehow, some way, you're going to be deflecting blaster fire as it's coming at you. Now, is it virtual? Is it a light beam? I have no idea what it is. It is not a Nerf bullet, so don't worry about that. It's going to be more advanced than that, but I think you're probably going to have to use their lightsaber and somehow interact. We don't know, but I'm very excited to see it. One thing I want to note about this image, if you look all the way over there, see there in the corner, you can actually see whether that's a cast member or a guest holding a shield in front of them. I don't know what that's for. I have no idea. I just wanted to point it out to you. Is that a deflector of something else? I don't know, but very excited. There's a lot more we can speculate about in terms of lightsabers on board, but that's just speculation. Let's save that for a little bit later. Next, we're coming to the Silver Sea Lounge. This is exciting. This is extremely exciting. I think just as exciting as Oga's Cantina was when I first heard about it. Just look at this place. I mean, they're, to me, to my eyes, those are holograms on top of the table, a little light projected hologram right there where you get a chance to play. I don't know what they're playing. I don't know what they're doing. I just want to experience that. I have no idea. But apparently this is a lounge where you'll be able to go, eat a little bit, and mostly about drinking and relaxing. You can see everyone is dressed appropriately here. This is where another question comes up. Will you be given attire to wear, or will you be told to wear a certain attire, or is there going to be an outfit in your room when you get there? I have no idea. But that brings up a whole nother slew of questions. Are there going to be different tasks for different days for different guests? I don't know. but. You can only imagine how exciting that is to think about. For example, if you're an engineer, perhaps you have to go to the bridge on the second day, but not the first day, because you have to do other things in another location, which I will tell you about in a minute. Getting back to the lounge, however, take a look at that bar back there, all lit up. It looks so cool. It just, I wanna go there and spend time. The problem is it's just two nights, so we're gonna have to just make the most of every single moment. Not much sleep. I don't I don't think it's gonna be happening on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Now that I look closer at that game board there, it actually reminds me of the movie Solo where they were playing that card game. I actually have that game sent by a very kind friend. Haven't tried it yet, but clearly given this image, we're gonna to have to learn how to play that before we go. Because I, if, if that's the game, and it looks like it from those cards right there, I think we need to be ready for this. Next up, we have the engineering room. Now, this is no doubt part of the story. We don't know what part of the story this is, but you can see guests running around engineering doing something. Maybe you need a certain tool to fix something that's broken, or maybe you actually have to climb through the ductwork. Are, are you looking at this? You have to climb through the ductwork to experience this adventure. Maybe only you know guests of certain height 
are allowed to climb through the ductwork. I don't know, I have no idea, but I'm very, it, just imagine, just in, envision this. Envision you are climbing through the ship and seeing, you know, fire on a screen or something like that, but it's, ah, ah, can you imagine? I, I, I'm so excited. Now there are a lot of questions about the Galactic Star Cruiser. Some we can speculate about, some we know a little bit about, and some we have no idea. One of the ones that I want to mention here, what about some of those droids and other characters that we see throughout the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser? Are they really going to be there? My guess is we'll see some, but not all. Similar to the concept art we saw for Oga's Cantina, where we saw characters from all around the Star Wars universe, but when we actually get there, they weren't there. So that's just a note, I want to just mention that. We'll probably see Chewie and some um, stormtroopers, we'll see them, but in terms of like droids walking around, that, that might be a little bit uh, more difficult. We'll see, still excited though. The Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is going to be very small, one of the smallest at Disney. Now when I say that, I'm talking about less than 100 rooms. You're saying to yourself, oh, 100 rooms, that's, that's not bad, let's just pretend it's 100 for a minute. It's, it's actually not that, that many. The Contemporary Resort, the big A-frame building with the garden view, that's like 600 plus rooms. And the Caribbean Beach has like 2,000 rooms. So this is going to be a very unique experience. Now at some point during your adventure on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, you will apparently be making your way to Batuu in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And when you do, you're going to be going in a very special transport. You're going to be coming from the ship down to Batuu using, whether it's a space elevator or something else, we have an idea of what it actually looks like. It's a vehicle, it's super cool, but you're going to board it and the story continues. You're not just getting in a bus. Nope, no you're not. You're getting in a very special themed pod that blasts you off from that ship and brings you down to the planet's surface, which you will, for some reason, we don't know the reason yet, have to go to Batu and do something. Now, when I say do something, it may mean go and rise the resistance, or it may mean go on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, perhaps get some blue milk, some way to interact with the land that impacts something that you're doing on the ship. Again, don't know the details, but it's gonna be great. Once you complete your mission, whatever it is, on Batuu, you're going to go back to the Galactic Star Cruiser via this transport shuttle. Now, the big question, won't you be able to go to Toy Story Land and other places while you're there? Hypothetically, yes, you could. Are you going to want to? No, you're not. You're gonna to wanna to get right back onto the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser because it's such a short experience. Now, another note about the rooms. Although Disney hasn't specified exactly what each room will look like, there's no doubt going to be a different room style depending on what you choose. We saw some concept art like this where there's actually bigger windows and different styles of bunks. We don't know what the room configurations are. We've only seen a few concept images, but I think you'll have a at least small choice in terms of which room you choose. Now for the question of price. This one constantly comes up. We have no idea. Let me just preface all this by saying we have no idea. But I'm guessing here, I'm speculating. Let's pretend for a moment I'm not considering DVC points and that will not apply to Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. I don't think so. Let's pretend for a moment we're staying at the Grand Floridian or Contemporary Deluxe Disney Resort. Costs anywhere between, what, maybe four to eight hundred dollars a night. It, it does vary depending on the rooms and the time of year, etc. Let's just say, just for purposes here, six hundred dollars a night. Twelve hundred dollars for two nights. Okay, we got that. So what would it cost for two nights in the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser with the super limited number of rooms? My guess is, and this is just a guess, this is just a guess, somewhere between twenty-five hundred dollars to four thousand plus to stay at the Galactic Star Cruiser for two nights, three days of this adventure. It could be more than that. Just want to mention that. I don't know. Disney has not said. They probably will not say until very close to opening but it's going to be expensive. It's a really tough question, and depending on the room styles that they have, maybe there's gonna be quite a range in terms of price to stay at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. No idea, if you have a better idea, let me know in the comments below. Much easier question to answer. Is it going to be popular? Yes. I predict that the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is going to be so popular that the moment they open up reservations, not only will they book up immediately, I believe that within a week, maybe two, two years worth of reservations will fill up. That's just my prediction if they let people book out that far. I think it could go that far, like two years booked solid. That, that's just my guess. I do not know. 
Either way, I am extremely excited about this new experience coming to Disney. Now, this is very different from other resorts we've seen at Walt Disney World. Other resorts you can visit during the day and go to the lounge, experience the dining. Not here. Galactic Star Cruiser is only going to be for those guests who are staying there, including merchandise, other things to experience while you're there. So, it's going to be exclusive. It's going to be one of these very new experiences at Disney we've never seen before. Another good question, will you be able to bring your own lightsaber and costume? I guess is yes. Perhaps you'll, you know, be replacing it with other attire, we don't know, and maybe other lightsabers, but you'll likely be able to bring your own attire, at least to start. If you're as excited as I am for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, let me know in the comments below and what part of it are you most excited about? For me, it is the entire experience, but if I'm thinking like really specific, I'm looking forward to like I don't know, crawling through ductwork. If I'm allowed to, I'm six feet tall, so I don't know if they'll let me do that. But going on the bridge, kind of seeing how they're interacting, actually having an effect on the environment. When I push a button and a TIE fighter kind of goes by and then I have to blast it, you know what I mean? That is going to just kind of blow my mind. I am so excited for the actual, you do thing, something changes in your environment. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.